This news update is brought to you by Sign up with Flow today and win an all-inclusive holiday. Sign up for broadband and voice. Open up your world. Video and broadband. Watch stories unfold. Sign up for voice and video. Tell them how it ends. Sign up today or sign up for a friend. Sign up for two or more Flow services and you can win an all-inclusive vacation for two at Sandals Resorts International in Jamaica and benefit from much more. Press or call 620 Flow for details. This is the Noon Barbados Today update for Monday, December 2nd, 2013. I'm Dawn Paris. A man is in police custody following the murder of a 22-year-old woman last night. Crystal Lovell was killed at a Highland St. Thomas home during a dispute with a man around 10 minutes past 9. Police say she was stabbed several times. Health Minister John Boyce says the HPV vaccine planned for preteen girls from next January will not be mandatory. He says parents will have a say in whether or not their daughters get it. There's been controversy over the decision by health authorities to make the vaccine available to young girls with concern about possible side effects. But Boyce says the intervention will help reduce the incidence of cancer in young women. I think that the... Uh Medical opinion comes down heavily on the side of support for the vaccine, although like any other vaccine, there are persons who may not respond positively and there can be side effects. The point being, however, that the choice remains with the family. Meantime, Director of the Pure Sex Centre, Ambrose Carter, says the authorities need to tell parents about the possible downsides before asking them to make a choice. Steps are being taken to have the Barbados landship recognized by UNESCO and placed on its Natural Heritage Register. Cultural historian Dr. Marcia Burroughs tells Barbados today it would mean that government and by extension the people of Barbados will be responsible for ensuring the longevity of the 150-year-old organization. But she says there's still some work to be done. We need to get the um, evidence of, of more of the workings of the ship itself so at this moment, there's a project led by myself, um, and the project is in association with the NCF, with the Barbados Museum Historical Society, Director Alessandra Cummings, with the Barbados Government Information Service. And we're actively looking for living landship members who would have sailed in the ships in the Cornwall, in the Queen Mary, in the Iron Duke, in the Director, in the Vanguard, um, in any of those ships that were floating in the 1970s. In sports, Minister Stephen Lashley says a national junior football tournament is on the cards. Speaking after Saturday night's Lime Pelican Football Challenge final, he told Barbados Today plans are already in train. The National Sports Council is busy planning this and uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to, to throw it out there because of course we're going to need our corporate um, sponsors on board. I believe that the, the junior angle is uh, an area that we, we probably have missing from the uh, football fever that has enveloped our ears. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcomed. A regional diplomat is suggesting that CARICOM needs to take another look at implementation of the free movement of people. Antigua's ambassador to CARICOM, Clarence Henry, says while it has served its purpose, it's time to review the arrangement. The time has come for the region to reflect in a concrete way to see to what extent if the goals of 89 are still relevant today. Clearly, some of the goals are not. And so we need to tweak, we need to fashion new arrangements. 
Internationally now, demonstrators are blockading government buildings in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, as they step up their campaign for the resignation of the government. The unrest was triggered in November by the president's refusal to sign a deal on closer EU ties. And that's our noon update. Join us again at 6 this evening. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Don Paris. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes,